Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn how we can get date and time from a timestamp field. For this exercise, I am not going to use large number of rows. We can even perform this task with only 5 to 10 lines. If you haven't gone through video number 48 and video number 49, which is explaining how we can use interpretation function and formatting functions, then I strongly recommend you to go through with this video first before starting this video. All the basic idea is covered inside video 48 and video 49. So the first step is we need to find out whether the field, timestamp field which we have loaded, it is automatically interpreted as timestamp field or not. So I will load this application and at the front end I will create a table and I will add this field here. So you can see that alignment of this field is right hand side. So if you go here and if you see the alignment of text so if this is right hand side by default, then this field is in a dual format means click has interpreted this field as dual. If we go to the data model, then inside the data model, if you select that field and if you see the preview, then you will find that this field is numeric and timestamp. That means this field is automatically interpreted as timestamp by click. So we can perform our next step easily. There is another way to find out whether the field is numeric or timestamp field or not. You can write down here number and then timestamp field. So once you write down timestamp field with number, you, you will get something like this. Every date in click is associated with a number. I have covered all these details in video number 48 and 49. Please go through with those videos. So now our objective is to find out or to separate out date and time from this time time field. So before doing this, let's do one exercise. So in a KPI, I will write down something like this. Say we have a number 100.50. So if I will write down floor function here. So we are getting result here as 100. But if I will use sale here, then I will get 101. We will not go to more detail here, but we can say that floor function will round down to the nearest integer and sale function will round up to the nearest integer. So here we will get 100 when we will use floor but we will get 101 when we will use sale function. Another thing is if we use fraction here. So say I will use FRAC fraction. So it will give you the fraction of 100.50. So that means we are getting 0 0.5. So using this floor and fraction, we are going to get date and timestamp. Now we will move to timestamp. Say I will write one date. I will say 0 01. 07-2022 and it will be 16-0000 and I have to mention something like this. So you can see automatically it is converted to number. So what is 44743? 44743.67. So this is actually 44743 is actually a date belongs to 1st of July 2022 
and 0.67 means it's a four o'clock. How? We have 24 hours. Let's move to the Excel file. So every day we have 24 hours and out of that we have 16 hours now. So that means 16 divided by 24 means 0.67. So that means 44,743.67 means this is equal to 1st of July 2022 4 p.m. If I will say 12 hours then it will be 0.5. So if instead of this 16 if I will mention here 12 then we will get 0.5. So if I will use floor function here then I will get the first portion 44,743 and when I will use the formatting function here we will get the date here. So here I have to do auto and now you can see we are getting the date portion. Same way if I will use fraction here so here I will say fraction I will get 0.5 and now if I will get this formatting function time then I will get time portion and 12 o'clock. So instead of this 12 if I will use 18 then I will get 18.0.0.0.0. So using this function we can now we can find out date and time from the back end. So here I can say star and I will say let me copy this one and I will use this. So instead of this I have this time stamp field. So this is my date field and the same way if I will use this and instead of this manual date time if I will use this then I can say time field and when I reload this application at the front end I will get my date field and my time field. Now let's see another example. If I will say here my dates are something like this. Let's consider only three dates and when I load this application we will not get the date field, we will not get the time field because now it is by default left aligned means it is in a text format not in a dual format and if you go to the data model and if you select this timestamp field then you can see it is a text format. So because click is not able to auto interpret this field as timestamp field. Why? Because you can see here the timestamp variable this variable is actually dd slash mm slash yy yy hh mm ss while this format is different. So if you follow the steps which I have shown in video number 49 and video number 50 if click is not able to auto interpret the field then you have to use timestamp hash function. So first of all I will remove this one and here I will say timestamp has function and I will mention that this timestamp field is actually in this format. So I will tell to click that the timestamp format is this. This field is actually a timestamp but it is in this format and now I can convert to the timestamp according to this format. So once I will do this and I will say 
time stamp field and I will load first this one and we will see how this time stamp field is interpreted now. So this time stamp field is now numeric and time stamp. So now this field is interpreted as time stamp. So we can implement now these two functions. So I will do the preceding load, do the preceding load and I will just replace these two functions and we will load the application and we will get our desired output. So if click is able to interpret easily automatically then you have to do nothing but if click is not able to interpret the field then you have to use the interpretation function timestamp has and then you have to tell to click that this is a timestamp and rest of the step is same. Hope you like this video. Thanks and have a great day.